Uh, let me go ahead and a marker right here. So it makes it easier for me to chop this up. Or at least separate this from uh, when I go to highlight it. Uh, this lies way longer than the first one. Oh yes! A lot more was packed in to, uh, to this one. No, slide one just really isn't that long. Um, I think there's this, I know this, there's this, at least one more chapter after this, I'm pretty sure. I think it's one more, I think there's eight chapters in this one. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, last time we finished up in chapter six off in Canada dealing with uh, Jean Bisson. And um, we escaped after getting both clockwork lungs and the heart, I believe, is um, is what we nabbed uh, there. So, we're gonna head on into chapter seven. Menace in the North, eh? Hello, Sparky. Things just weren't right up in Canada. Random acts of violence were popping up like weeds and the Northern Lights, well, they just weren't right. One night they'd be brighter than ever, and the next, gone. In Nunavut Bay, I overheard talk between Jean Besson and his mysterious partner, Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. By simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised Jean Besson's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. The Thievius Raccoonus makes numerous references to the talons slicing through plates of steel. A skilled lumberjack like Bassan could clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Those talons have got to go, both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. So, uh, we already know what part, um, Bison has. Uh, it's a little bit weird that Arpeggio was the, uh, was the icon for this chapter, because I was like, I'm pretty sure it's, another, it's gonna be another Bison chapter. Um, also, I like the, I don't know what it is, but, like, the way, the way Ar Arpeggio is pronounced, I, I think I would say that Arpeggio was a kid, and I was like, oh, that sounds weird, but Arpeggio sounds a lot better. Anyway, um, I'm gonna take a look at the Thief Nut here, because, uh, yeah, Thief Reflexes, uh, Guttural Roar, and a uh, Reduction Bomb. Um, I think Thief Reflexes is probably the uh, the one I like the most out of these three, but um, here. Okay, so here's what we know. One, Arpeggio's blip is on its way to pick up a battery from Jean Bisson. And two, the only way we'll get a crack at Arpeggio's clockwork brain is by finding a way to sneak aboard his blip. But before we do that, We'll need to snag the clockwork talons off John Besson. Time is short, we've got a lot to accomplish. True, true, but first things first. This lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. I need you to poke around and take some recon photos. They'll help to get my sensors oriented. No problem. Recon photos, I got covered. In anticipation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cane. It can now separate into two smaller canes. Useful for ice climbing. Try ascending to the top of that sheet of ice. Just jump and hit the circle button to dig in. Now, the only thing I don't like about that conversation, I guess at this portion, is that this is like the only time that is referenced that Bentley can modify our cane. And that he has done so. Um... I think that was like the like one of the one of the things I was like I was like oh you know this this is a cool thing is it gonna happen ever again? Uh, I don't remember it happening ever again, uh, which kind of sucks. But okay, so now we are going to uh, look around for clues as per usual. Oh. Uh, we're not put it to work, uh, immediately. He's just telling us where the, uh... Come on! The birds here are a lot more aggressive as well. Uh... 
as you can already see. Oh, there was something something actually saw me. I was like, oh, it's a stupid bird. I mean, this is technically still a bird, I guess, but. Well, I hear one. I see one up there. Gotta... Okay, that's not fair. That's also... That was kind of lame, but... Uh, got that pretty easily. Gonna grab that. I don't remember much about this level. Um... I do still like the overall look of it. Like, like we can see, like the northern lights, um, and how they don't look very, uh, very natural, as Sly was saying earlier. Um, I'm gonna climb up here because, yep. One. I don't know how to get over there. Oh, actually, you know what? That's probably for when I climb. Come on. When I climb up, uh, the thing to do, Sly's, uh, mission. Uh... Oh, that was the thing. What was that? A hey, Cormort with the cheer. Appreciate it, brother. Welcome to the stream. I think I said your name right. I might not have. I almost called you Coral as like the uh, the Final Fantasy enemy, but it's definitely no L in your name. Don't know if it's a reference to that either. Uh... Okay, got a sapphire. Why are you standing here like this? Oh, I remember going in there. I remember liking that. How do they not notice? I don't know, dude. I'm not complaining. I mean, Sly is a master thief, though, so... Comes from a long line of master thieves. Medium nugget. I mean, like, Carmelita and Contessa noticed, like, me. Well, they noticed right after it happened. Can I fully? Okay. Couldn't remember if I could fully destroy that or not. Can I kill that raccoon? Man? I don't know, dude. Sly's pretty crafty. Uh, anything over there? No. Oh, it's gonna see me in me. Is it just that one over there? Or is there another one close that I hear? Topaz, nice. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought he was going to be done. Oh god, the bears are back. I didn't remember them being here, too. What's the bear doing? Do you know I'm here? Like, you can't know I'm here. Okay. Oh. That's a topaz, nice. 
Like, the worst part about Silent Obliteration is that uh, you need quite a bit of space for it to work. As you saw earlier when I fell off the ledge and uh, alerted. And one, I didn't hit the enemy that I was, uh, I had used it on. And then two, uh, can I jump in this? Okay, I can. Just need to make sure for later. Can I? Not from this side. Maybe I could have from the other side, huh? Okay, so I saw a piece of booby trap the loot over here. I think I'm gonna... gonna make it back oh that's tragic i thought i was a lot closer do i die no it just blows up yeah i thought i was a lot closer than i was that's why i was like taking my time oh that's that's upsetting i lost the loot wait does it go back to where it was initially stationed i never actually lost the loot before so i don't know have to be a lot faster with that remember that thing too about a third of the way well I okay hey, there it is uh, can I... I think I have to go from where that duck is so I'm gonna try to do so flip on the fallen braids. I don't know dude. That's John Bisson, not me. Oh. That's a bear. I think at least like right here, like he's just in, he's just trying to he's just trying to uh I don't, okay so I don't know the right way to phrase this but deforestation I think that's what his goal is right now I was I, like I was gonna say like I think he's trying to to like deforestation I was like no that's not the right way to phrase it. I'm like all right I don't know how to phrase this then so I think that's his goal right now. I mean, I also just, like, legitimately don't remember what the reasoning is for... Oh, my God. You know what? Yeah. You didn't notice. I didn't think you would. Or rather, I hoped you wouldn't. I hear it. I don't see it though. Oh. Okay, oh, it goes back to being over. Oh.
think it's the only goal. He wouldn't even bother processing lumber at all. I'm sure the story would tell us. I don't think that's his only goal right now. We know he's a lumberjack. And uh, we know he's angry right now. And he's come up here after uh, after we've robbed him. Ooh. Well, he's really angry. Well, we don't know that he's really angry. Uh, we do know that uh, he is anger, though. Or angered, rather. I know he's really angry, but we can we we can kind of assume that he's really angry. That uh, we've robbed him once, and that we're back for uh, for part two. So you can probably probably piece that together. More nuggets. Oh God! All right, well. They're gonna aggro me or the bear now? Oh, hold on. Hand him my light work, bear. Oh, well. It, uh. Looks as though they're all aggroing me. Uh. Okay. So one there. I can. Was rending against nature? Uh, maybe. We'll find out soon enough. Well, there's two of them up here. Okay. Oh, uh, this is about to just obliterate you. You finally got the takedown. Sending enemies to the void. Here. Alright. Hey, Gizmo is subscribed for 33 months. Let's some hype in chat for Gizmo with the tier 2 subscription. Oh, wait, did my hype button work? My hype button did work. Ha ha. Okay. Uh, where was the other? Right here. Also, yeah, I got the uh, silent obliteration last stream. I don't think you were here when I got it, though. Uh. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, 18. You think I almost remembered stuff about this stage, but, uh... I mean, I kind of do. I remember, like, specific things we need for, for gerbs later. Like, specific areas of the map. As, as as noted about earlier, I was like, "Ooh, you know, I, I remember that part right there." Uh, can I? Okay. Well, that didn't work out the way I thought it was going to, but uh... oh, what? Okay. Like this right here, that's a, uh, that's a mammoth. Oh, wait, how do I... Let me get back up there. Ah, oh, shoot. Uh... Hmm. Oh, what? Why did he keep running? What the heck? 
What to heck? What to heck? Shut up. See one up there? No. Okay. So there's ten more. Nine more. Uh well, hmm. There's there's one one I know where it is. I just haven't gone to get it. Because uh, I assumed that I'd be get able to get it once I go start the job. So I, I I guess there's eight more that I need to find. Large gold bar. A yo. Thought I remember. What are you even doing over here? Hey, what's going on over here? Nope. Hmm. Those don't alert the guards, which is funny because it's a very similar sound to the, uh, to me breaking bottles. Can I not? Okay, I guess I can't do it from that height. You gotta make sure your shovel works, dude. Oh, we I already came up here. Uh... already up here as well. Uh, there's approximately eight more I need to find. So... What? Did he... I... Okay, first of all, I thought Sly, like, did the animation where he would jump onto something, but I guess not. Uh Hmm. I haven't even really been able to hear. Many as of late. I heard one all the way back there, but... I'm just barely not going to make it. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh, it was actually right there. All right, the path I take is too long. Okay, so one was on the way back here. There's 
one right there. I love this game, EE. Hey, Wong's been scrapped for 22 months. Let's hype and chat for Wong. And Wong, how's it going, brother? Yeah. I enjoy this game, too. But uh, right now, I'm having a interesting time trying to find the rest of the clues in this stage. Uh, well, I know where two are. Well, one. I know where one is. Uh, it's alright. Let's play in uh, some Sly Cooper for our current throwback game. And then I get to be a weenie and go play some Record Keeper. Because I play the gotcha games. Okay, hold on. Let me... If I... Ooh. Yeah, let's... Come on. Let's do that. How are you doing, Wong? You doing alright, bro? Okay. Okay, so I need to get up there. I feel like there's gonna be another one, like, over here? Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, there is. Right here. Okay. Okay. So, what if I just... Okay, well, that's not what I was trying to do at all. Come on. Smoked. I just don't want to use another. What the? Oh, God. So I was more concerned about what exploded, and then a bear pulled up. And I just didn't know what to do. Ooh. Wait, no, it's over here because I remember jumping across the water. Oh god, uh, I gotta go put it down. I wasted too much time already. Was there a fast way to get across? It doesn't involve going down? I guess there's not. I guess I just, ha I just have to be faster. I'm just gonna have to go main. thought I was about to be really upset. Okay, there we go. That was free. I'm gonna give you a hug of death. Nah, she didn't want a hug. She, uh, she tried to, she tried to dap me up with her claw. Uh-oh. Can't see. Oh, okay. Well, luckily, not seeing didn't matter there. Ooh, Miss Ruby. Uh oh. I hear one. I 
think I jumped up too far. Uh. Ooh, okay. Showing the smash. I don't know about that. Okay, so three more. second but I probably didn't hmm so hot did I turn my heater off yeah I think I did uh, oh bad time to jump I hear, oh, dang it, it's this one. That's not the one I'm looking for. I almost want to go get a different one because, or rather, gonna go grab that one so that when I hear it, I, uh, oh shoot, I didn't even realize, damn it, no one even told me either. Oh god. Not even full screen. There we go. Dang it. Well, that was tragic. I guess it's a good thing I checked. Hello, Izzy. Welcome to the stream, brother. Um, okay, if I was a bottle. Oh, I didn't go over there yet. I think there's at least one over there. Oh, wait, can I get over here yet? Oh, well. Oh, that's a bear. Okay, there's at least one over here. Don't even remember. Okay, well, that's not what I meant to do. Whatever worked out. Alright. Yo, the sound of. What? I was. Okay, I guess I was close enough. Uh, the bear's kind of pissed a little bit. I just definitely favor the four. Uh, I don't even know what my favorite one is. I think, like, one the least. Hmm. 
But that just means... Ah, uh, no. Even if one is the most primitive. Maybe second least. I've been over there already. I haven't been on the boat, though. Uh, let's see if draw distance has done anything. Right, nothing's hidden over here because of draw distance, right? No. Okay. So two more. Um... I also don't remember where the safe is in this one, so that's why I really want to get these before. Not like it matters, I could always just double back. <sighs> like, what are the odds? Hold that. Alright, well, now I'm just going to go grab this one. Oh, okay, maybe I'm not. I don't want to start the job either, though, so... Don't look at it out here yet. Oh, cannot reach that. Although I don't think I... I think I would have heard it by now already, too. Mission with Supercell. All right, someone stop Blue. Get Blue out of here. Well, hello, Blue. How's it going, brother? No more Supercell. Oh, you know what the worst part is? I still have to go. Like, I never finished Maria's Lost Chapter. So at some point, I got to go back and finish that, too. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just going to get really angry whenever I... What the sh... Okay. Someone actually broke out of the... isn't the XY when he did was Cosmos. I mean but that doesn't change the fact that I still I still suffered. I'm just gonna see the enemy. I'm just gonna get really angry. Or sad. I haven't decided. Yeah, run that. Come on, there's not many more. I should be checking up here too, though. I think I checked up here already, though. Top of this. Yeah, I'm trying to find the last two bottles. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Last two clues. So I know where one is. One is near the job I have to start. So I only need to locate two others. Oh, it's a party. Or a slaughter. I don't know. Whatever the bear decides, really. You know, I, I got out of there. I'm like, yeah, not today. Like, we getting on a dodge today. Use Mari to find the last. Oh, you're right. I 
Maybe I'll just go start the job. Oh. Well. Uh. I still got my desired result, so. I thought I had a bottle for a second. <laughs> uh. Damn it, that's still the same one by the job. I was like, oh, I hear one. That's still the same one, though. side for this. I just don't want to start the job before I grab that one. But I might as well at this point since I can't find the other two. I'll do one last uh, look around though. The big boom. Yeah, no, I, I went there already. I mean, I guess I could have still missed one back there. Oh, wait, hold on. What? Uh, what? Sly, thank you. Why did you jump down? What's wrong with you? Oh, well, he knows I'm here now. Oh, there is one around here. There's one I missed. Down here? No, it's not down here. on top of this building? Who's on top of the building? Can I get on top of this building? Go away. Is that on top of the building? Oh, I come from the the rocks, I think. Okay, so now I have to get over here. Uh okay. And go that way, since that's the way I remember. Uh, maybe it's not the way I remember. Because I haven't... Okay. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Come on! There you go. Okay. No, 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 no! Damn it! Well. That's what I get for trying to silently obliterate the enemy right next to a ledge. Uh, 
can I get up from over there? No, it takes me around there. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, no. Wait, I, I was making that jump anyway. Do you even need that? Maybe I don't even need that. Alright. Let's go over this way. I almost feel like I remember one of these things falling. Alright, so I didn't get this one. There's not one over here. Okay, so now there's just one more I need. Do I have? Okay. Do -do -do. Or in your pockets. Okay. I went down here. I did. Alright, I'm gonna go start the job, get the 29th bottle. Or 29th clue. And then hopefully I will find the other one a little bit later. Actually, wait, hold on. Thought I heard, heard it over here. Wait, did I walk down? Yeah, no, I did walk down there. I think there's a sound effect from the, uh, the what do you call it? Unless there's just two up here. There might, there might just be two up here. There's two up here, I'm gonna be sad. Oh, I actually have to walk that way. Oh, come on. Man. Okay, I think that one is the... Oh! Yeah, that one's the bear, I think. Computer. 
cabin and then the saw blades. I would have liked to have uh, the last clue though, because then I could just tap the music on. Oh, I was holding R1. I didn't press it again for that. I think the part I'm thinking of is uh, much later on in this episode or chapter. My house is that away. Yeah, why not? I'll grab some of those. I thought I heard something. Okay, another medium nug. This one. Oh, and I remember this part now. Never mind. That's the battery charger, but where's the battery arpeggios coming to pick up? What? Because the stream delay, now I actually have no idea what you're talking about, but.
I'll post the clockwork talons as a trophy. That should bring in the competition. Although, who am I kidding, eh? I'm gonna win just like every other year. <laughs> oh, it's tough being this tough. It sure is, yeah. Head back to the safe house. We need to talk about these lumberjack games. <laughs> Well, guys, Jean Bisson has unknowingly thrown down the gauntlet. With the Clockwork Talons as a trophy, we'd be fools not to participate in his lumberjack games. Fortunately, due to frequent avalanches, a log chopping guide was frozen in a wall of ice not far from our position. Sly, you're in charge of acquiring the book. I'm sure it will prove invaluable. Now, we're all aware that Arpeggio's blimp is coming to pick up another battery. To sneak aboard without incident, I'd recommend we pull a Trojan horse and stow away inside the battery. However, the location of the device is still a mystery. We need some inside information. So, working together, you two will infiltrate the Moose Guard's secret RC combat club. Those guys all work in the lighthouse. If you win the battle, I'm sure they'll talk. Despite his antique mind, Jean Bisson's no fool. To keep tabs on him, we'll need to bug his house, steal the radio tags off local bears, and then jerry-rig them into a sensor array. It's a challenging set of tasks, and that blimp's on its way. Let's get to work. Picture of the bear was funny. How does one get the thing in, in Record Keeper? Uh, there's there's the uh, this there's this this magical thing called uh, called a credit card that you could use, and you keep swiping it until you get what you want. The end. <laughs> uh, look at that! Look at that! Um, ideally, uh, you just gotta pray. You gotta pray. There are two sly jobs. Okay, so is that behind me in a corner? That could have actually been anywhere. Oh, the reason the reason I I, I laughed earlier because I, I didn't remember the part about the lumberjack guy being frozen, and I'm just like, wait a minute. First of all, Bentley, why do you know that? Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't hear it, so, oh. Well, whatever. Uh, we'll just go over here, because I think this is where... One of the... Get out of the outhouse! What? How did I miss that twice? Oh, oops. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Now we're here. Wait. Oh, shoot. I wonder how to get up there. I think I have to go from... Where's the hook? Whatever. Maybe hook's on the other side. in someone's home. The first step is crawling into that bear cave and stealing the goods. I'm on it. Oh, this isn't what I was thinking it was, never mind. 
I was getting something else. I'm kind of angry because he was taking a dump. Listen, man. He'll be okay. The radio transmitters have all been tagged in their mouths. You'll have to sneak up and pickpocket it while they're yawning. Sounds safe. Stay clear of the thin, crackly ice. Walking on it is sure to wake the bears. I'll keep that in mind. I remember this one now. Yawn. I don't remember this being too difficult, though. Uh, do I even... Okay. 100%. Yep. That's what we're gonna be going... Uh, I feel like I might not be able to make this one. Easily. Oh, but I, I made it easily enough. I was gonna try to paraglide over from the, uh... Okay, uh... Did I grab you? I think I did grab you. I think it just fails you if you wake the bears. That one's intended to be the last one you get, because I'm pretty sure you have to get out of here safely after you get all the transmitters. And I almost touched the ice. Ooh, almost did it again there, too. Uh... Come on. Only you could have pulled that off. Head outside and I'll fill you in on the next step. Oh, oops. Again, can talk like chemo. These bears are just bears. Hey, man. Everybody gotta eat. To form a receiver array, you'll have to place the radio transmitters in precise locations around Jean Bissant's base of operations. Seems easy enough. Once you're in position, hit the circle button to place the transmitter. You know what I just realized? The music is still off because I don't have all the bottles, so I should go back and look for the last clue. Uh, so that I can... <laughs> can turn the music back on here.
don't remember how to get up there. Okay. Let's go up there like this, I guess. Oh, oops. Did I pick up the health? I don't remember if I went all the way over here. So for the time being, I'm going to assume no one that the last bottle is up here. Okay, well. The bad news is that the bottle is not up here. The good news is I, I, I didn't actually get over here before. Not like there's anything over here in particular for me now. So that's just tragic. Hello, Prodigy. Alright, so I'm gonna go back. Someone here? I gotta go. Okay, I'll go over there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I think I heard... Wait. Okay, maybe I didn't hear anything. Fringe of this section taking pictures, which oh god, that doesn't tell me there's there's a lot of map between there and where I am. There's actually not a lot of map. No, no. All right, so where's White House is back the other way, I think. Oh no, White House is still this way. Maybe? White House is... Hold on, is this the... Safe House is right there. White House is that way. down here if I'm lucky nope oh I think that I got the one that that would have that was down there hmm there's supposed to be a cave down here or something Oh, 
Oh, okay. That's... Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, so Lighthouse is there. Uh... Is before? I mean, like, I'm not hearing it either, though. Mm -hmm. Felix is going to be on one of these boats, or maybe out there. Alright, I'll finish this job first, though. Oh, SK. Um, can I get up there like this? I can. His house over here. Oh, did I just? Thought I ran off again. I mean, I still could have ran off. I guess technically I did run off. bear trap. Oops. Okay. This one and then the one on be someone's house. I have to get on top of his house? Oh, God. I would have just gone from the other side if I knew that. Then you have to get on the top of his... Wait. Yeah, it's on top of his house. <clears throat> Go up here. I should have assumed it was going to be on top of his house and not like at his door or something. That bear has it in for you. Ah, uh, possibly. Oh, that's a Murray job. I was like, what's that back in the, uh, back in the corner? Hmm. I don't know where the one that Joe said he noticed was, though.
You're not dead yet. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so Joe said he saw it somewhere around here. Last time I fell in the water over there, oh, I guess that, no, I was a little bit closer to the, uh, to the log. Damn it! I did the same thing again! Maybe I should just stop running. Oh, this is tragic. Okay, less tragic. Oh, there's ice here. Is it up here possibly? Wait, if it's up here, then... That's so unfortunate. And that doesn't match up with what Joe said he saw. So then I don't know what Joe saw. Alright, wait. Hold on. Can I... Oh, wait. What? Can I see? I'm gonna get hit once and die. Because I can't see... Oh, yeah, no. It's up here. Wait. Where do I go from here, though? Oh, I just I just have to go back around this way. Ooh, there is a. There is a treasure up there. Ah. Huh. All right. Oh, oops. Alright, dang it. Options. Music comes back on. Well, to be fair, I don't think I particularly like the music on. What have I got in this one? 40 seconds, huh? Okay. I thought he heard it, but was mistaken. Hello, Underground. Blame Joe. Alright, well. I guess we just blame Joe. I don't know if this is if I'm gonna make it from here. I think I. Well, I, I can make it. I don't think I'm going to, though. Well, I made it. Hey, Joe, you've been exposed. We know now. No, last I heard, Dimitri was still in the Pokemon. He 
He's a slippery kind of fella. Well, I'm sure he'll get out. Oh, all right. Anyway. Oh. E e e e. What? All right. That's his year, but the dude couldn't pronounce. Anyway, Fury's been scrapped for fifty months. Those might have been tried for Fury. Ugh. Over here. I don't remember what the other slide mission is though, so we're going to find out. I remember once I get here though. Well, maybe. Uh, okay. Yeah, up here. I don't remember what else Bentley had laid out in the uh, in the uh, slideshow. Well, let's see. Oh, is this the book? I got frozen. No, I don't think it is. Oh, I remember this one. I like this one. It is the book. Ha ha. Unfortunately, it's frozen deep in an ice wall. How are we supposed to get to it? Wait for more global warming? That industrial laser is used to cut through petrified logs. If it could be bounced out that window, with your help, I should be able to harness its energy to melt the ice wall and free the book. How do I redirect that thing? There should be a switch on the other side of this wall. Throw it and then head outside. Then I was like, haha, can I cheese this? No. That's fine. I did remember liking this a little bit though. Okay. Oh, I probably could have made that one. Do we get any dialogue from uh from Jean though? I feel like Bentley says that line a lot. Or multiple times through the series. He probably does. Get Zooks, that's a nice one. <laughs> that's all you have to say, Bentley? Usually you're like, you got the insert move here. Uh so I think I'll try this on L2. Okay. Didn't remember the safety in here though. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know how many people do get to cut down forest for, I mean, I guess lumberjacks? Uh, I don't. <laughs> You've done it. The laser's been redirected out the window. 
I don't know how many uh, how many people actively uh, get to do that. Be someone such a goon? I mean, I guess so. You don't care about no one's life. Now to get that laser pointed at the ice wall, you'll need to alter its direction with the crystals I put in your pouch. I see. I just walk to where the laser stops, place a crystal, and it'll bounce the beam to a new position. That log chopping book is as good as ours. Most of the time, like, what is it? An ancient log chopping, like, guide. <laughs> How ancient could it? <laughs> How old of it is it if Bentley's calling it ancient? Okay. I figure, like, it can't be all that old. Okay. What? Oh. Aha! Solomon Conjures years old or something like that. Uh, not to my knowledge. At least I don't. I don't think. I don't think he is. I mean, he could be for all I know. I. Does it tell you? No, you just have to kind of follow the beam. It's not like it's hard. I say moments before something terrible happens. Oh, wait. We go back that way. jump still. Ah, whatever. They can't chase me this far. The next one was like, he's calling everyone's during a gold rush and throw it out a century or so later. Oh, yeah! Well, was, was it a century? Yeah, probably. I forgot that he got a uh, frozen solid. I remember the part about him trucking through, uh, through the snow. I guess that was right after he, uh, he awoken. But I also don't know, like, what time period this is supposed to be taking place. Mammoth. And clear slide. Something else is coming out of the deep freeze. I've never seen such a majestic creature. So full of life. So ready to live. So it's, much for that. He's it's, back in the deep freeze. I mean, it's, actually, it's just it was still there on screen. Cheer up, pal. We got the log chopping guide. 
I remember it going back into the uh, going back into the water, but like it like it it had stopped right here. I'm just like uh, well, oh, I like the RC part too. I think I liked it. Oh. I remember like enjoying the the RC part. Maybe it was just the dialogue I liked. Uh, then again, I don't really dislike any of the RC parts in this game. Like I haven't. We're getting to the part of the game where it's uh, my memory's getting foggy on a on a lot of things. Oh no, there's there's something in Sly 3 that I distinctly remember not liking. Rumor has it that several off-duty guards meet in that cabin for an RC combat club. This is going to be great. I haven't been in any RC combat since that job we pulled in Istanbul. It was awesome. What job did you pull in Istanbul? Dang it, I want to move something on my screen and then Murray got slugged. This chapter is very, very important for multiple reasons. Those guards will never let you into the combat club without a disguise. That old moosehead should do the trick. Only there's no way for you to get up there. Hide out in this barrel while I send in Sly to steal the head. Oh, I remember this part. <laughs> Look at him hiding. Sly, if you can get the stuffed moose head without being detected, Murray should be able to join the RC Combat Club without raising any suspicion. Can I break his barrel? Just look at him in there. He knows he can't fit. Uh, what do I start from? Where are you up here? Yep. stop is because we have to be quick on the blade and I didn't think I was going to make the, uh, the cycle for the blade. Like this one. And for this one, we just kind of got to crawl into this. I imagine this would be pretty terrifying. I don't know what kind of, like, employer has a, uh, a walkway like that, but, you know, whatever. Don't get noticed. Screams. Hey, Murray, here. Hey, fellas. Any of you guys think you can beat the mur the, the moose? Maybe put a bet on it. Oh, I'm in, eh? I ain't got a lot of money for this wager, but there's no way I lose to a new guy like you, huh? <laughs> the moose. Turret while you're stopped. Which 
ammo can I have? Oh wait, hold on. Oh, it's, it's like a flamethrower? Okay, hold on. Wait. Oh, wait. No. It's not a flame. Okay. It's a missile thing. But when he was hitting me at first, I was like, is this a, is this a flame power? No, 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 no. Also, how many shots do you get per ammo? Oh, no, he just has a flamethrower, too. Oh, he's a cheater. Okay, so I thought I aimed with the right stick. Oh my god. I'm gonna die again. Oh, you can also just blow yourself away. Oh, that's lovely. Alright, I don't know why he gets a flamethrower and we don't. That's kind of lame. He also just starts with it. Like, what is this? How many do we get? Oh, let's say we get three per? Come on! Oh my gosh, it feels like it's impossible to drive this. Jesus! I'm gonna die again. Alright, I'm just gonna kill me here. No, stop! Okay, it feels like controlling this is actually... Am I doing something wrong? Controlling this feels like impossible. Oh, I have no ammo. God. Gee, this feels terrible. Bro, why does he start with ammo? Uh, I don't start with ammo. No, 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 no. Like, every shot I shoot hits me? <laughs> Can I shoot at him without hitting myself? Come on! Oh my god, move! Well... No, stop! I don't want to stop moving, but... How do I re recover from being flipped?
Okay. Well. You won, eh? But I ain't got no money. That might be okay. It all depends. Depends on what? On whether or not you know the location of the Northern Light Battery. Oh well, I guess I owe ya. <laughs> What's so funny is that you won. I ain't got no money, eh? John Buson, uh, was boss that so cut him to slap. Okay, listen. So? After reading through the log shopping guide, it's become painfully clear that to win in the lumberjack games, we'll have to cheat. Now, I've constructed a plan that hinges around us acquiring an eagle's egg, which is more difficult than you'd think. First, Murray needs to lure a bear into taking out the local oil mains. Once destroyed, the pressurized oil should ignite and create updrafts, which Sly will then use to paraglide over to the eagle's nest, grab an egg, and then head back to the safe house. Thanks to Murray's undercover work in the RC Combat Club, we've learned that the Northern Light Battery is hidden in a silo nearby. The battery needs some serious modification if we're going to hide inside it to sneak onto Arpeggio's blimp. First, we'll short the battery with grapple lines on local boats. Then, we'll all break into the lighthouse and sever the power flow to the battery. That way it won't recharge. Given my electrical engineering background, this plan has a 97% chance of success. Pretty good, huh? 97. Alright, not bad. Um, you see amidst their cheating. I mean, I guess, yeah. Did I buy everything? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I didn't show off the uh it's we we basically saw it before already. Um It's it's um it's like the cry he made when he was when he was uh Uh Spice Un uh under Contessa's um watchful eye. Oh, everyone actually has a job right now. Huh. Okay, well, I just picked Murray because I, I was like, all right, Mur oh. oh. Wait, do I have to do Murray's first to uh to do? S no, they never have me do them in order. Oh wait, hold on, wait. Boat hack. Rebel phase. Where's the slide job? Okay, oh, never mind, never mind. I was I was thinking about something uh, slightly different. All right. If I do need to do this though. Egg, you'll first have to destroy all the local oil mains. It looks pretty sturdy. The Murray is strong, but his fists can't punch through metal. No problem. See that old bear down there? His name is Grizzleface. The guards ignore him because he's blind and practically nerve dead, except for his sense of smell. If that old guy smells fish, there's no stopping him. Use Grizzleface to take out the oil mains. But I don't smell like fish, do I? How can I lure him around? Bentley's taken up a post along the river. He'll keep tossing bombs into the water and the fish should get blown sky high. Plenty should land near your position. So you want me to throw a fish at the oil main so that old grizzle face will knock him apart? That's the idea. You might even try throwing fish at the guards. Might improve their odor. I do. Uh, I did it. Uh, I remember liking nice this mission to an extent. Trot old grizzle face over to the next oil main by luring him with fish. What's well, down here? Hold on, how do I... Can I get him down there? Let's see. Oh, uh, oops. Okay. 
can you get down here like this? No, he cannot. Okay. Oh, shoot. Alright. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Luckily, the fish will just kind of land near you, which makes this mission a whole heck of a lot easier. Oh, he fell off. Oh, shoot. How do I take the long way around there, though? Alright, hold on. Grizzleface is moving towards your position. Oh, I don't actually have to, uh... Is he actually? Or is he just stuck up there? Well, now I dropped the fish, so... Oh yeah, yeah, there he is. It's just gonna take a while. Sensors in the safe house indicate that Grizzleface is on the move. Luckily, this one isn't actually too far. Oh, wait. Is he gonna come around the back? I mean, I guess so. Oh, well. I barely missed. Grizzleface is moving towards your position. I thought I actually have to lure him because I, I I didn't remember a lot of this mission as you can see, but luckily that bear can run pretty fast. He's on the way. I think I see him. I'm back over there. Sensors in the safe house indicate that Grizzleface is on the move. Thought I saw him. Wait, there he is.
Oh boy, snacks. <laughs> oh, shucks. Okay. okay, so now we have to go back. I don't even smell like fish. Apparently just lie, huh? Hold on. There we go. Dang. Thought I would hit him from down there. Oh well, whatever. Not that big of a deal. Uh, so we have a Bentley mission. And let's show if Bentley is, uh, this is just a bomb version of the size of stabilizer, so. Wait, no, wait, 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 is it not? You know, it is. Oh, hold on, I want that. Which one I do is that. And enemy shrink. I don't think I should load the health extractor either, but. enough. Uh, Alright, hold on. Where should I put a good sleep? Oh, shoot. They're still... Mm, okay, I thought their positions would, uh, would reset. I'm just have to wait because I can see them in the background. Pretty neat. Oh, why would you do that? And it's funny because you get them to, to do that and uh, you get your, your health back. And there's a mammoth, by the way. It's uh, back in the uh, the big gulp. Wait, hold on. I'm going to here is Bentley. Wait, what? Did not realize I can go in there as Bentley now. Huh, interesting. I don't know if I ever knew that, if I just forgot about it or what, but, uh... Pretty cool, I guess. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, I thought I could do it again while in there.
can trust Murray's informant. That's the silo with the battery hidden inside. To prepare it for travel, we'll have to drain off its northern light energy. By attaching a boat's grappling hook to the top of the silo, we should be able to deplete power from the battery. Murray's in position to help throw you out onto the boat. Once on board, I'll hack into its steering controls and move the vessel close enough to fire its grappling hook. Okay, I'll climb on top of the silo and attach the hooks. How many grappling lines will it take to drain the battery? Three should suffice. Once the first line's attached, Murray and I will commandeer another boat. You should stay in position. Finally, I get the easy gig. <laughs> okay, so, uh... I didn't remember that Murray threw us. I'm all set to throw you to that boat. These days my aim is impeccable. Uh, these days my aim is impeccable. Now to hack the steering controls. Oh god. Oh wait, actually hold on, since there's only those two? Probably fine, right? Oh god. Well, no, because they came back with a flumping vengeance. Oh, well, they eventually just blow themselves up, I guess. Ah, uh, I tried to eat eat a few hits, but I ate one too many. Bro, like, why are there so many here already? It's like this, it's like the cycle of these starts before you, uh... Before these are even live. Hey, Uko's with the host, appreciate it, brother. How was your stream? Wait, hold on. So, did you stop stream earlier? Because I saw the notification about you going live, and then I went there, and then you weren't live. Are you doing your removal attempts? The boat's heading into position. I'm already on top of the silo. Shoot the grappling hook up to me, and I'll make sure it gets attached to the battery. <sighs> Wait, where are you? Oh, you're up there. Oh boy, this part. Oh, okay. Well, that one went pretty Boats easily. Place. You guys should head out for another boat before anyone picks up on what we're doing. Yeah, we'll do one now. I then four better three pulls and my three came out and started again. Oh, okay. Ugh. Well, hopefully your Viathan runs went well. I'm still not up to six star yet, so... Wait, where's the next... Over here. I do like jobs like this, so like outside of like the um the featured one. Or I guess the uh Of the main operation for the other uh, chapter, where um, oh my god, defense is, uh, is ramping up here. See, like, look at them over there. There's so many of them already. Okay, I didn't want to go on that just yet because I wanted to see if they would blow themselves up. That's such cheeks. Not the good kind of cheeks either.
Okay. There we go. I mean, no problem, bro. Luckily, Murray, like, gets there pretty quickly after you arrive. I was wondering what happened to that guy. Guess he just prefers to be frozen. <laughs> it's so unfortunate for the, uh, the mammoth, but... I mean, maybe it was running for its life when it got frozen in the first place, and uh, when it woke up, it just, or I'm sorry, when, when we uh, when we freed it, it just resumed running for its life. Or maybe it's like a Rhyhorn, it just runs, uh, when it gets angry, then forgets why it's running. So they don't actually blow each other up. That sucks. It's so lame that they can start spawning in before you even get over here, you know? Okay. So you gotta go. I'm pretty fine with this stuff. Oh, the other thing died too. Did I kill it by accident? Uh oh. Those other things. I mean, I don't know. I've never been frozen for several thousand years. <sighs> never really try. You know what? You're right. I'm gonna try it next summer. That's not high enough, I don't think. There we go. I... Oh. Yeah, okay. That did it. With the battery chamber empty, we'll be all set to move in. And we have another job for a sly here. I don't remember what it is. I kind of wish there was just like a quick return to safe house option. Actually, reloading the game might be faster. Okay. Really? 
Oh, oh no, okay, no, I'm thinking of something else. the thing up? Sounds like work for Murray. Actually, this job will require all three of our skills. The front door is locked, and you're the only one capable of climbing up to the hatch on top. Once inside, sneak down to the ground floor and let us in. We'll help you finish the job. All right. See you on the ground floor. Okay. I don't remember how to... Oh. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, okay. I was like, wait. I thought that was a, a light from a, um... A booby trap treasure. So yeah, like I don't know how much it's like to just jump down and be safe for. Uh, enough of it apparently. I thought I had this hit circle there. Thanks, pal. Just let me at that northern light attractor. It'll be slagging minutes. Not quite that simple, Murray. I'll reverse the energy flow from the control computer while you lift the main circuit breaker. That should give Sly a short window of opportunity to climb up the power lines and overload the system from the top. Up, down, up, down. They should put an elevator in this place. <laughs> Get to the top line, of course, too late. Uh, flip the switch at the top. Okay. Get climbing, Sly. We can't keep this thing reversed forever. Yeah, this is heavier than it looks. Okay, so I... No, I have to climb up. 
like that right there. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you're actually timed. Okay, they give you a really generous amount of time on that. Yeah, like the, uh, the amount of time you have to do this is, uh, extremely generous, as you could see by, uh, how I derped around and still made it in, uh, in time. There's a duck swim across. Listen, man, you can't swim. Maybe. Or maybe it's because I damaged it and it fell in the water. It's like, well, you can't swim now. Maybe, I don't know, dude. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, I had to be at the top of the tower. Damn it. I forgot. Oh, that's so unfortunate. It's fine. It's not like getting back to the top of the lighthouse is very difficult. It was very, very unfortunate that I forgot I had to be up there. But, uh... It'll be okay. Probably could have made that. I think it's hard to guess because I have to be actually at the top of the tower. Or the In order to overcome Jean Bod in the Lumberjack game, we'll need to enlist the help of the giant Canadian eagles. Their nest is out on that iceberg. Steal one of the eggs and then bring it safely back to the safe house. Use it to direct the eagle's protective instincts against Bisson. Sure, sounds easy enough. Except for the part where I have to swim a half a mile through freezing water. Why swim when you can paraglide? With the oil mains all destroyed, the pent-up combustible materials have just caught fire. I see. The updraft created by the flame should give me some extra altitude. Just make sure to stay out of the fire. Get too close, that old grizzle face will be eating barbecued raccoon for dinner. That's a charming image, Bentley. Alright, uh... Do I have to... I don't remember if I have to go to all of them. I think I do. Yeah, because I start you over there. Hello, Cross. Yeah, his hat does that a lot. You kind of get used to it after a while. So I go over here.
just so you can maintain your height because the, the island is way out in the distance. We've got to dodge the eagles coming out here too. I think you start over at the part with the equals though, maybe? The checkpoint is, I think, I feel like I remember the checkpoint being pretty generous. No, okay, wow. All right, well, I guess I have to do this all over again. That sucks. I could have sworn I remembered it being not this, uh, this punishing. But, uh, we'll see. We will see. I don't even, under normal circumstances, can you even, um, can you recover from getting hit while you're paragliding? I don't know. I'd assume no. Oh, my auto going forward? Okay. Watch well. out for those eagles. They don't look friendly. It, okay, well, first of all, maybe was I not supposed to jump to that? Well, maybe I wasn't. Because I tried to hit circle. And it didn't work. I'm going to have to do this again. I was like, oh, okay, a little, a little respite here. I can stop here and then paraglide the rest of the way. But apparently not. Hmm. But I don't think I can glide the entire way there. Well, maybe not with the way I was doing it, but... Alright, let's try this again. At this point, they think that auto make you go forward, which sucks. Turning on this part is hard enough. Alright, see, like, my angle was much better that time, though. So, can I not? Okay, maybe I wouldn't make that. No. Oh. to not get hit right now? I don't think it matters if I get hit. Great work, Sly. I didn't even have to get all the way back to the safe house, so that's why I'm like, uh, Games are upon us. 
Now, despite Murray's study of the long chopping guide, none of us are skilled enough to beat John Bassan at his own game. So, though it pains me to say it, we'll have to cheat. You already said this, but Murray, all right. You'll participate in the power log chopping competition. Get us a good score, and then let Bassan up for his turn. While he's chopping, I'll sneak the eagle egg into his trousers, and the protective parents should disturb his axe swings. Sly, given your ascension skills, I've signed you up for the ice wall climb. We'll keep Bassan from beating your score by pulling him off the wall with some nearby grappling lines. And finally, I'll represent our team in the log rolling competition. With my knowledge of rotational mechanics, we're sure to get a stupendous score. Sly will be in charge of greasing Bassan's log so he has no chance of beating it. If you guys are ready, I say we head out and show these meathead lumberjacks what we're made of. I think I almost enjoyed this, um, this operation. I also don't remember who, uh, Bentley. Okay, guys, let's head down there and win those talons from Jean Bissot. Sly, try to keep a low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack games. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Not like anyone's ever going to beat my record, but let them try. Not bad, Hippo. But watch and learn. I destroy that log without even breaking a sweat. Well, your scores don't actually matter on this because, again, we're, we're trying to cheat, so... Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on Bassan, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe timing. Thing is, though, we've got to, uh... First of all, we've got to not get hit right here. And then we got to make it over to be sown. Oh, I can't jump. Oh, my God. Uh. Okay, well, that one. That one was cheeks. I thought I could jump for the first one at least. Should be one more coming. Yep. Oh, really? Ah. Uh. Okay, and one more. Oh my gosh. cycle. I might not make it in time now. This part is actually kind of, uh... What?! Oh, my god. Alright. Okay.
I don't think I can make it here from the first cycle. Oh, shoot. I thought I would have made that, but I mean, I guess not, right? Come on. Oh my god. Pretty good for a scrawny raccoon. Now, watch and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing. Hurry! Use those grapples to hook on to Bisson. You will need to hook it with all three lines to pull him off the wall. What? I am king of the mountain. It didn't even Okay. Basically, call them dinner, yeah. It seems you have pulled the wrong cards again. Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than 10? I see we're tied with only one event to go. Unfortunately for you, I've saved my best event for the last. The spinning log competition. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. Oh, I actually have to jump. Oh, okay. Can I double jump? Okay, I can double jump. Okay, I was gonna be sick life if the wrong one. Oh god. So I'll jump back to the middle one because you can adjust easiest from the middle one. Okay, well. That was the easiest one, I think. Now, watch how a skilled log roller does it. This is crazy. John Bisson's got those judges so intimidated, there's no way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? 
Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Ingenious! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges' table. I mean, you don't even need to you get rid of all three of them. The alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Visson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. We also didn't. Okay, so you're required to have this one. I don't know if I ever bought this one. Or I'm sorry, I don't remember when you or when you can buy it. Obviously, I bought it, but. Uh... I don't think that's close enough. Okay, luckily I don't have to go out to the... Oh, shoot. So I was facing the wrong way on one of my throws. Yeah, because in theory, all we really need to do is get rid of like one or two of them. We don't have to get rid of all three. It is pretty nice here too, yeah. What? I thought I warned you judges about the consequences for incorrect scores. Wait a sec. You aren't the judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. Well, if you want the talent, then why don't you just take them? It's pretty funny how that happened to hit Cheers, love. two the people. Here. Because oh, oh, did it hit Those you too? Really pack a oh, punch. Okay. Sly. Hey, Dominic, Sorry. with the host, appreciate it, brother. How was your stream? Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. <sighs> Bisson must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble... I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. I like this part, too. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. I, I really want to know how Bentley actually fit in there, though. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well now, Candy Bridges. I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talents. You sold all the clockwork parts? 
Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it. Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command. I hear you. Prepare yourself, Bissan. On guard. Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Call. <laughs> I'm just gonna start to call people Walnuts. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> About which lever I should pull. Flame up. Oh, shoot. Logs, logs. Yep. Fire. Oh, oops. Oh, triangle's probably the button for this. Okay. I don't know why, but like this, like I love this boss battle so much for no real reason. I don't remember Bentley ever saying that. All right, hold on. I gotta. Whew. <laughs> oh God. Oh, oops. I hate how Sly doesn't even like bat an eye to the way that like Bentley is saying these things. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, I know what you mean, Bentley. Man, really said, really said, eat dynamite. Come out, boys. Let's get to killing. Logs on it. Drop up. All right. Logs away. How's that? You were just stun like a boss. Done in by some four eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, brains triumph over broad. Uh, I think it has to be sizzled his Good gizzle. Job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me. You did a great job opening that door, Murray. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, attention, uh, John Bisson. Okay, that voice sounds familiar. On the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move. Shake a leg. That blimp's on its way. That supposed to be hard. I don't remember that, but whatever. Is the timer still going down now, or no? Oh. 
All right, I think that was the most um, like the most entertaining um, operation we've done so far. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. And um, it's it's actually a little ironic that um, that that's the uh, that, that's the scene for, for you know coming back to the chapter select is uh, us jumping back into the van considering the um, the specific cutscene that had uh, just happened. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for uh, for chapter seven. Um, and for the Sly, Sly Cooper portion of the stream, so I'm just going to add a marker here so uh, I can just cut this easily.